This is an excerpt from Sex Dimensions Beyond the Moon. I am beginning excerpts from the two works alternatively. Man is a universe within an outer universe. Just like the body of the universe, the human body is composed of cells. These cells are interconnected by an electromagnetic force. This force works through electrolytes present in each cell. Individual human consciousness is a byproduct of ego and mind. All states of pain and pleasure exist because of this ego-mind combination. It is because of this eternal pair of ego and mind that we have innumerable desires. Man requires tremendous energy to fulfill these desires. Unfulfilled desires cause illness and pain. This requires methods to cure disease and pain. When you are young, full of energy and strength, you can repress your sexual desires. It is normal. There is tremendous energy within. And you can pour your entire energy into suppression. This is what we all do. However, after 42, you will become weak. You have entered another cycle of your sexual energy. Slowly and slowly, every day, you will become weaker. You will become weak. But the repressed sexual desire that have been accumulated for years will be very strong. The energy that is suppressing it will be weaker, but the energy that is suppressed and accumulated over the years will become stronger day by day. The real problem starts after you attain the age of 42. People do not know at all. They do not know the ways of energy. Also, they do not know how this existential bioenergy works. They have not explored this energy and its functioning meditatively. In the process over the period of time, the repressor person will become weak and all that is repressed never becomes weak. The repress goes on accumulating and ultimately reaches the state of explosion. And when the repression begins to explode, you have no control over it. Usually this happens after the age of 42. This is not mathematical. With some it can happen earlier and so on. And when repressions begin to explode, you have no control over it. The repressions also come because of your taboos, religious upbringings, social conditionings and lack of understanding of the movement of bioenergy properly. This is what happened to the vast humanity. Husbands, more so wives, go on washing their dirty linens in public after the age of 42. And what Swiss psychoanalyst Carl Gustav Jung has said just before dying that on the basis of being a physician is quite relevant about man. He said, I can say oh, that all the patients who came to me after the age of 42, basically their illness was because of the lack of religion. It is quite surprising, but if somehow we can give them some kind of religion, they will become healthy. By the word religion, 
Karl meant religiosity, not the outer religions. Everybody has outer religions, they are engrossed into it. But there is no religiosity, there is no understanding. Man is seven step spiritual ladder. These seven steps of your ladder are your chakras or psycho spiritual centers. Your religions, cultures and societies do not want you to get the stronghold of the first step and speak of a spiritual journey. Your foot on the first step of the ladder is not settled and you want to move ahead to the other steps that causes serious problems. Sex energy is stored at the base center or muladhar. The center is at the end of the cossex that is the base of the spinal cord in the third body, not in the physical body. So you sometimes you may feel the presence of the center when the energy begins to surge. And it is said that the Hindu elephant god Ganesh is the presiding deity of the center. If you are intelligent, only then you can see the whole conspiracy of religions to keep you deprived of the understanding of this energy and its movement. Sufis rarely initiate a person who is not married. Marriage helps to sublimate the volatile nature of this energy. And if one has understood the existential energy, the transformation becomes possible and easy. One day you are born as the interaction between ovum and sperm. The sperm represents the masculine energy and ovum represents the feminine energy. The birth always happens as the interaction between these two aspects of the cosmic energy, the male and the female, yin and yang, Shiva and Shakti. And then your life of conflict, duality continues. And one day suddenly the life energy is released. Once again from the sex center into the unknown oblivion. Death happens. One day you are born out of sex through the interaction and again one day you attain to death through the same center without any flowering of your being. The life is given to you so that your center can flower and there is blossoming. Very rarely the journey of transcendence beyond sex begins in an individual. Through sex you are born one day, through sex center one day you disappear into the unknown oblivion. And by understanding the flow of this existential bioenergy, one day you are reborn. The flowering of the being begins then. Going through the sexual intercourse meditatively, when masculine and the feminine energies move in harmony and rhythm, you get the first glimpse of Satori, the orgasmic experience of dissolution of two energies. During the moments of sexual orgasm, when the two energies merge into one another, and the couple experiences the fleeting glimpses of a state beyond time and space. In that orgasm, you experience timelessness and you disappear in the unknown. It is out of such experience of inner oneness that sage Vat Sayan's classic treatise of Kama Sutra emerged as the Sutras of Kama, Sutras of Sex. The principles and the techniques for the transformation of this existential bioenergy. And when this energy is transformed, 
the flowering of consciousness as enlightenment takes place. Out of this understanding, the Lopas Mahamudra, the songs of Saraha, and the supreme understanding of Tantra emerged. And today, once again, the enlightened awareness, the light of the being overflows as sex dimensions beyond the known. This is the beginning of the series on this particular aspect of human existence. This ultimately becomes cosmic orgasmic experience of oneness and dissolution and then one day explodes as enlightenment. Sex is the dimension of spirituality beyond the realm of the known. Sex is most spontaneous and natural energy mocked, disfigured, blamed and continuously criticized by the society, power and the religious custodians. To understand sex, you have to go beyond the dimensions of the known. Breathing and meditation is the vehicle to take you to that unknown and unknowable realm. Whenever sex is understood, this indomitable energy will transform and in the process life will become a marvelous journey of the spirit. However, in the absence, life will remain a mystery. All is too little that the world can give because its power and knowledge are the gifts of time. These cannot fill the spirit's sacred thirst. The world and its affairs cannot bring into life's closed room the immortal's air and fill the finite with the infinite. All that denies this must be torn out and slain and crushed. The many longings for whose sake we lose the one for whom our lives were made. Sex is the manifestation of the existential bioenergy at the lowest rung. At the lowest rung, the energy represents the earth element. Alike earth, the other elemental elements, water and fire are also relevant. It is only when these three elements are saturated, the energy reaches the realm of emotions. The lower has to be sanctified only then the energy gives rise to the positive elements. And finally the energy connects to the sky elements. When the earth and the sky elements are merged into one another, love is born. When the earth and the sky elements are merged into one another, love is born. Love is the ultimate flowering of this existential energy. First love gives you unity in your innermost core, then you are no more a body, no more a mind, no more a soul, instead you are beyond. You are simply one, unnamed, undefined, unclassified, no more determinate, definable, no more comprehensible, a mystery, a joy, a surprise, jubilation and a great celebration, a being alone. Soul's experiment of joy and grief and thought and impulse lighting, the blind act venture on the roads of circumstance. Through inner movement and external scenes travelling to self across the forms of things in creation's center he had come. The spirit wandering from state to state finds here the silence of its starting point 
in the formless force and the still fixity. This present work is an effort to bring clarity and insights into this specific topic on which ancient sages like Vatsayan has created the classic. Ajanta and Alora caves were created by the mystics. Even these have not been understood by the baser minds and these sculptures were mocked and criticized as pornography even by men like Gandhi. Human mind is quite ready to turn sex into pornography very easily and thus keeps man from understanding this existential phenomenon. This work is the beginning of the series in the process of human transformation and a deeper understanding of sex and spirituality so that man can evolve to understand the subtlety of the subject, love forever. This is the preface to this work, Sex Dimensions Beyond the Dome. I will continue on this alternately excerpts from sex dimensions beyond the known and horizons beyond the mind. Until tomorrow, take care.